Hey friends, hey, it's yours truly, Andrika J. Austin. You know I go by Coach AJ. Welcome to Tuesdays at 12. We are talking all things life coaching and life coach certification training. If you're new to my tribe, hey girl, hey. If you're listening to the replay, Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to come and hang out with me to learn about what your next steps could be as a certified life coach. Not just any life coach, but a life coach who gets certified in a day with me online. I'm so excited to be here. If you're new to my tribe, it might not have known that I have gone from homelessness, divorce, dealing with the death of my mother on the same day downsizing of my corporate job, dropping out of college, all the way to dedicating myself to the life dedicating myself to the life coaching development system, designing my own life coach certification curriculum program one day process for how to get that piece of paper in a day, all the way to designing different books on life coaching as well as a domain that we know of as freelifecoachquiz.com for you to see if you want a free gift today, do you want to learn if life coaching is your next step? Then head over there, take the quiz. Um, it takes about 60 seconds. Enter your email address, select one of the three options that's going to tell you if life coaching could be for you. At least life coaching training with me in a day, all that good stuff is for you. It's over at thelifecoachquiz.com. Put in your information, take the quiz, let me know. You want to take the quiz as soon as possible because I got a very special treat for those of you who do. So, Hey, Tanisha Boswell, how are you? Now, I'm on audio, so I don't sit and stare at the screen, you guys, so that I can flow from the heart, if you will. But I do check comments. Um, I'm also giving my eyes a chance to adjust, y'all. I lost my glasses recently. I thought I threw them in the main neighborhood compact. I was so glad to find them under my bed. But I also have to give my eyes like three days to readjust <laughs> to the pair that I'm wearing today versus the backup pair that I had on that is literally falling apart. So, <laughs> forgive me if I'm not sitting and reading the comments um, in the moment that you post them, but I definitely come back and engage. So, I wanted to do um, a post today called What is a Life Coach? And it's just going over the basics of life coaching. Um, there are a lot of people who don't understand life coaching. I did a podcast interview recently, not even podcast, it was a LinkedIn Live, and the topic was on life coaching. Um, but people still think it is along the line of counseling and giving advice and therapy where people just sit and tell you their problems. And that's not it. So I know that as a master life coach trainer, remix. so if y'all want to tra uh, train with me for one day, you got to hop in soon. But step one is to take the quiz over at thelifecoachquiz.com to find out what's coming up with me and what's going on with you becoming a life coach. Not along the lines of life coaching. And so I know for sure my role in the life coaching industry is all about education. I love being educated so that I can make an empowered decision as an entrepreneur. And so in a nutshell, in three words, life coaching is all about setting goals, taking action, and achieving results. I know it's more than three words, but three bullet points. <laughs> setting goals taking action, achieving results. So as a life coach, once you get certified and you learn different skills on what qualifies you, what skills you, what trains you, what makes you the person that people will select to help them set those goals, take the action and achieve the quality results, then you learn that there's a system to the process, but it's also about putting in your natural ability to help. So if you feel inquisitive, if you've ever been called to coach or you feel like, you know, people have told you you're a good listener. I should listen to them. <laughs> or they say you're so easy to talk to. Um, and you're thinking life coaching is your next step. Just know what you're getting into. Because some people also think that life coaching is about speaking. It's about, you know, using um, the power of your testimony to influence people to make decisions. And that's not it. Um, and so you need to learn the skills of a life coach, which number one is listening. We'll just stick with that one for today because that's the number one skill. You have to know how to ask a question, put it out there, wait patiently, open up your heart, open up your mind, 
Open up your ears. Open up your spirit as well. Listen to what your coaching client, even if you're practicing on them, they're considered a coaching client. Even if it's free and they didn't pay you for that session, they're considered a coaching client. So open up your eyes, ears, and spirit to see what they're saying with their body language, to hear what they're saying with their words, and to sense in your spirit what they're not saying. So you have to sometimes read in between the lines and know how to redirect that life coaching question. So life coaching can be all encompassing, really using the, all the five senses. You just really have to um, be in tune, be enlightened, and it's going to enhance your skills of how to better prepare your next question. Because again, it's not about, quote unquote, pouring into someone in a sense that you're telling them what to do. You're giving them your opinion, your advice. Um and pointing them in the right direction. It's all about listening. Even if you decide to go into an arena where you may be working with the younger generation like millennials or children, youth, young adults, we get a lot of people who are interested in doing nonprofit work in that arena. And so what I know for sure with my background in nonprofit and social enterprise is that when you encounter the younger generation, number one, there's already a barrier because they're looking at you like you're the age of my mom or you're the age of my dad. And they also feel like they're not heard. So if they're not heard at home, why would they listen to a stranger or why would they talk to a stranger? And so you have to know how to use all the five senses to go in and hear them, hear their heart hear what they need your help with, hear what they're asking you versus what you think you know they need. So life coaching is all about being sensitive to the spirit, to the heart of your clients. And so it is a form of ministry. It is a spirit to spirit connection. It does take a specific skill. Um, Getting certified is all about learning and being trained, getting educated on the process of coaching. And then actually developing yourself as a coach is all on you. Now, I know that may be a hard reality, but it is a reality nevertheless. So getting certified is centered around helping people set goals, you know, setting goals about their beliefs, setting goals about their fears, setting goals about their values, setting goals about where they want to go in their life in the eight areas of life called the will of life that everybody who's been coached probably knows about, right? And then when you actually help them to do part two of a life coach, what you'll be doing as a life coach, which is taking action. That's when the skills of the five senses pop in. That's when your natural ability to ask questions, be nosy, be inquisitive, listen, incorporate those five senses. Did I say that already? That's when all of that comes in. And then the results part comes because your client trusts that you're the person who can help them get to where they want to be from where they are. So whether you're dealing with young adults, whether you're dealing with someone that's transitioning from careers, whether you're a grief coach and you're dealing with someone who um, has experienced loss, whether you're dealing with people in trauma or people recovering from trauma who have had counseling and now they're looking for the next step in bettering their life, whether you're lo- whether you are... Um, coaching in a relationship capacity, whether you are dealing with people going through divorce or have been, whether you, regardless is my point of what you try to coach around, what you want to help someone with, you have to know how to have the skill of setting goals. Yes, that's basic. That can be taught in a life coach certification training. You also have to have the innate ability to ask questions. That can also be taught But what can't be taught is that spirit to spirit connection. Now, you can be taught how to listen to it, how to heed it, how to ask questions based on what you see, what you sense, what you feel inside, in your heart, in your spirit, in your knowing. And then when the clients trust that process with you, they're going to get the results that you have put yourself out there to help them achieve. Hi, Cassandra. So hopefully... Something that I've said has blessed you. Tanisha says, you know, I'm all about the five senses. It's so amazing how all of that comes into being a good coach. So, yeah, I'm with you on really being sensitive to the spirit, being, you know, just in this place where you can trust your heart 
so that you can hear the heart of your clients and you can trust that you're on the right path, even as a coach, that you're on the right path with working with the right people. They're going to sense that about you. Like, it's just something about you. How did you know to call me today? How did you know to reach out? How did you know I needed to hear that? It's all because you are an in tune coach. So when people say, what is a life coach? This, what I just shared with you is why it's so hard to put it in words, but it's also why I tell my coaches who get certified with me in our one day life coach certification training. I say, listen, sometimes you just have to show people what a coach is. So when someone says, what is a life coach? That's your invitation, your opportunity to extend the uh, life coaching session, a sample session with them. Like, would you like me to show you? I think it works better that way. What time works for you? You want to do a session right now? Are you open? Can I coach you? Do I have your permission? And then you go in from there, but in a very good, in tune, sensitive way to where you're paying attention to the signs, to your five senses, you're paying attention to your client and you're helping them get the results that they're paying you to help them get. So I'm all about coaching with your whole heart, coaching with your spirit. It's a connection to connection. It's beyond just, oh, how much money can I make? It's definitely about the impact. It's also about the influence that you want to have. Because when you impact one life, you impact generations. Think about that. If you can listen with your whole being using all five senses and help coach with your whole being, the impact that you are going to have on that one client is going to trickle down to their family, to their clients, to their friends, their colleagues, and other loved ones. Coaching can have such a powerful effect, and you have to be open to showing people what a life coach is. So I have more coming up on our weekly trainings here. I try to do Tuesdays at 12 where I'm educating about the life coaching industry because I know that's my role. And I have some really good, juicy topics planned for you guys. So make sure your notifications are set. Make sure that you come with questions in hand if you have them. I do pause occasionally during these audios and look at questions. My eyes are adjusted now. I am about to go live um, in about five minutes um, in a private Facebook group for life coaches and share why I'm so passionate about life coaching. So I knew I had to come chat with you guys first. And now I'm about to go continue to spread the education. (laughs) Um, to be featured in an upcoming magazine article, as well as something that's kind of like a TED Talk, but for coaches. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to keep the educational process rolling along. Thank you guys for listening in. Um, I know me and my household, when I say that, I'm talking about me, myself, and I have decided to stay on lockdown during quarantine, regardless of, you know, what's happening outside or around us. And so I say that because I hope that this message reaches you in a peaceful, quiet, rested state where you have reflected on what your next steps in becoming a certified life coach could be. That's what quarantine has been for me, like relax and reset, rejuvenate, and make sure that I keep reaching out to create that sense of community for people who need it and who want it. Hey, Carithia. So we're wrapping up. Make sure you go back and listen to the replay. If you have not already, be sure to take the Life Coach Quiz over at thelifecoachquiz.com. I got a very special treat for those of you who have. It's about 50 plus of you now. I'm so amazed when the numbers keep growing of how many people take this 60 second quiz that lets them know what their next steps as a certified life coach could be. And as I mentioned, my life coach certification training is going through a revamp to where we're offering more of a remix style of coaching. It's going to be easier and lighter, and it's going to match the mood of where you are in your life coach certification journey. So join me over at thelifecoachquiz.com. Set your notifications to join me the next time I decide to do a live, which is now, usually Tuesdays at 12. And until we meet again, my friends, remember... Again, when you impact one life, you impact generations. There is someone somewhere and they are waiting on you to walk in your destiny so they can walk into theirs because it's when you let your light shine, you give others permission to do the same. So a master life coach trainer, Andrika J. Austin. I'll see you guys again soon. If you have questions, send them to the inbox. 
But until then, I'll see you over at thelifecoachquiz.com. Y'all have a phenomenal day. God bless. Bye, friends.